Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I am so excited to be trying out one of the many new foundation products that I picked up in my recent Walmart makeup haul. So make sure you check out that Walmart makeup haul video up here on YouTube if you haven't seen it yet. And I have to give a shout out to Maria Rosa for letting me know that this is a product that I should try out. This is from All May. It's the Clear Complexion Makeup with Salicylic Acid, Prebiotics, and Aloe. Cover, Clear, Calm, Restore. Hypoallergenic, fragrance-free. And I'm really excited about this because the brand All May Alme. <laughs> I'm not even really sure how I want to pronounce it, but this is a brand, of course, you can find it at Walmart. They have a nice selection, but I have not tried out many products from this brand. But when looking it up, it sounds awesome. It's a clean makeup brand. It doesn't have those bad ingredients. It's even cruelty free. I love that it's fragrance free, hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested. And this cost me, I think, $12.20 is what it cost at my Walmart, which is not crazy for a foundation in nice packaging. This is glass, it's got the pump, and I love that this has these great ingredients in it. Salicylic acid is such a great ingredient for acne prone skin, but this only has 1% salicylic acid, so it's not going to dry out the skin. And I actually don't even have like acne breakouts right now, but I deal with large pores and I can definitely get breakouts, but I'm thinking this could still be a good product for someone like me. But if you do have more oily skin or breakouts, I think this sounds like such an awesome product. And then the prebiotics and the aloe, so it's also still going to be hydrating, even with that salicylic acid. And I picked this up in the shade 100 Ivory. And so let's go ahead and try this out in a few different techniques. I've got my Dampened Beauty Sponge and my foundation brush, two techniques that I really like for applying foundation, but they can really be different depending on the foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and pump one pump onto the back of my hand and we'll start there. I did my normal skincare routine today. I'm wearing sunscreen, but I didn't put on a primer because I want to see how this foundation is alone, but I am dealing with a little bit of more oiliness on my forehead. My chin is where the skin gets the most dry for me. And like I said, I have the large pores on my cheeks and my nose. Definitely the redness that I'd like to cover up. This is supposed to have medium buildable coverage, which sounds like exactly the type of coverage that I look for. And first I'm gonna go ahead and use my dampened beauty sponge. Seems like a good shade match for me. Could potentially be a little light, but that is easy to fix by just going over with some bronzer. I also am noticing, even though this is fragrance free, it has a little bit of like a product-y smell to it. Nothing that's bothering me, but I was curious what this would actually kind of smell like. Ooh. I am liking the texture so far. Going in with a light layer, it looks super smooth on the skin. And that is one thing that I am so picky about. I do not want my foundation, my makeup to look heavy on the skin. I don't want it to look textured. I want it to have a skin-like finish. And so far with this thin layer, I am able to get that. I'm only able to really do like a quarter of my face with that one pump, but it looks nice. It's giving like the light to medium coverage so far, but I am gonna try and build it up a bit more over the redness on my cheeks. But going in with more, seems like I wouldn't necessarily say that a little goes a long way. I'll probably end up having to use, you know, three or four pumps to do my whole face especially if I do want to go over here and build it up. Ooh. 
but that is very nicely buildable and is not looking at all heavy as I'm building it up. It also seems to be sitting nicely on the pores, like the pores are looking smoothed out. Okay, wow, that is looking fantastic. It looks so completely skin-like in texture, like from the side of my face without it versus with it, you don't see any change in like cakiness, dryness. It looks so completely smooth. Like you can believe that this is just skin, no makeup on top. And that is amazing. That is what I tried to achieve with my foundations. I do think this has more of a matte finish, but not a drying matte, almost like a soft matte, but you can see like less shine to my skin with it versus without it. And like I had been saying, my chin is where it gets dry. And I do see a little bit of dry texture peeking through on my chin here. And keeping in mind, I didn't put like a hydrating primer underneath, but I had put on sunscreen. So I had like that moisturizer, but I guess this, if, if you have dry skin, I'm not gonna recommend this because it does show dry skin. But the rest of my face where I don't have that dry skin, it is looking incredible. And it really applied very nicely with the dampen sponge. But now for the fun of it, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the other side with the brush. I do find that the brush can give more coverage sometimes than I get with the sponge. Therefore, I do often prefer to use the brush so then I have to use less product. Like this here is one pump and I would say I'm able to blend it a little further get a little bit more coverage than I was able to get with one pump of the sponge. So I'm glad to see that both techniques really work. Like on my forehead here, I'm fine with just a light amount of coverage. The sponge was good, but like for my cheeks where I wanna cover up the redness, that's where I would prefer to use a brush, but I think it's just really up to your personal preference, whichever tool you want to use will work with this product. Okay, so foundation is applied and I think my skin is looking so beautiful. And that's just it, it looks just like beautiful skin. It doesn't look like makeup on top of skin. It has a nice soft matte finish that just looks so pretty. I'm really happy with the coverage. I feel like it really completely evened out my skin tone, but it didn't flatten my face and the chin you know it looks a little dry but it's not so dry that I'm gonna want to take it off of my chin or that I feel uncomfortable wearing it like this it's just you know I'm so picky I look up close and that's kind of the only <laughs> only thing I don't love about it the pores on my cheeks and my nose they look very improved but I think I could still get away with using like a pore smoothing, pore filling primer underneath this because it's not 100% smoothing to the pores, but it still looks perfectly fine to wear just like this without the pore filling primer underneath. So I love just how beautifully natural this looks. And then you've got all those other beneficial skincare ingredients going on as well. So I am very happy with this. I am, like I said, super picky with my foundations and that this beautiful $12 drugstore foundation is seriously one of my new favorites, I think is so awesome. So if you have more oily skin, more acne prone skin, I highly recommend this. And if you have already tried it out, I would love to hear in the comments down below what you think of it. And thank you so much for watching my video today. 
be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.